Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading for this evening. So this evening's question is going to be, why do they love me? Why do they love me? I'm kind of thinking on that for a moment. Before you run off to your timestamps, I just want to say that to let everyone know that to please like this video if you like to see this kind of content. So I know I should keep making videos like this. Um, also to let everyone know that when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing live streams. And what that means is that I will be having cards and giving out li like live mini readings where you can ask questions and I can answer them with spirit in real time. If that's something you'd be interested in, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. So not only will you be notified when you get readings like this, but you'll also be notified when I do go live. Um, is there, if there's any questions that you would like to, for me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, please remember this is a general reading and that it's a reading for many people who are going to come watch the video. So therefore you have to remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more personalized reading, you can look how to do that in the description below. And also the timestamps are down there as well. So let's move on and go to do why do they love me why do they love me so this is going to be pile one pile two and pile three and i'm going to be using four different decks for these things and then i'm going to have also clarifying cards so i'm going to be using five different decks so i have the clarifying cards here if there's any clarifying that needs to be done some of them might not you know need clarifying but I try to do the best I can with all these to make sure that, that it's at least understandable and that maybe sometimes I like to even have an outcome of some sort, you know, but this is the sacral chakra because somebody was asking before what all these different, different stones mean. So this is the sacral chakra. This is the throat chakra and this is the heart chakra. So let me go ahead and start with pile one. And the pile one is going to be the sacral chakra. This is going to be a lot of cards, so please try to bear with me. Oh, look at that. The sage is jumping down on the cards. It doesn't want to stay. You will stay. There you go. Is that good? You're staying? Okay. Hopefully you'll stay. I think it'll stay. All right, let's see what we have. We have the Eight of Earth. I'll let you see it for a moment, the ones that are far away, so you can see them. We have the Three of Fire. Mm -hmm. We have Justice. Get the sage trying to fall down again. Stay, sage, stay. All right, and then we have recognition and reward. If you can't see the bottom of that, I'll let you see it for a minute. We have intuition. Then we have for the romance angels, we have playfulness. And for the angels questions, we have unlikely. And if you don't know what that means, then I'm going to try to figure it out for you here in a moment. Let me figure out what I can pick up about these cards. They love you. They love you for your intuition. They love you also because you recognize when someone has, like, you appreciate people. They love your playfulness. They love how you're a very just, upright person. You try to be fair with everyone. And, and you stand up for what you believe in. They love how you're actually like abundance to them. I love 
love how patient you are. That you're patient. Maybe you don't feel like they're you're patient. It's, it's about what they think that you are. These are some of the things that they love about you. Let's see. Clarify the unlikely card. So far these things seem very good. Clarify the unlikely. And I got Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. That might stand for you. Yes, all the cards are trying to fall out. Take all of me. You all want to be in part of this deck. You want to be part of this reading. Oh, what is this? Seven of Pentacles. No, second. So, I do see that there is... detail. I think, you know, this is weird. I don't know. I feel like maybe you're asking a question like, do they dislike something about you? That's what I feel like the question is right now. Do they dislike something that maybe most people find annoying about you? And the, the answer is unlikely. That is what I'm getting is really weird. So it is unlikely that they dislike I'll try to elaborate on this more. Okay, so I think that the question is, do they do they find it annoying when you are challenging to them and you, like, kind of test them, you know? And it's like you're a challenge to them and they find, and actually it's unlikely. And what I get is that is the seven of pentacles which is what i'm getting is that they they want they want to persevere i think i want to get a little bit more on that and they're all trying to jump out again Hmm, maybe this baby is really sticking out here. I got the chariot. And the mother holding the baby is really, really sticking out to me. It's like all the things that I feel like that you think that about you that he dislikes, he doesn't dislike. It's unlikely he dislikes them. Let me see. I feel like this is a partnership. Mm-hmm. Also, I think you do come off as, eh, let's see how you're kind of, you're really picky about who you let into your life and who you have around you, and they actually like that about you. I think maybe they, uh, I feel like they, they, they have, they're the same way. You both might be introverted. Also, one of you could be an earth sign. Actually, I think you might be an earth sign. 
They might be a fire sign. Ugh. I got the hair fam trying to figure out what it means. What am I getting from it? I feel like that actually I just wanna the first thing I thought is this this situation could involve marriage for some of you. And okay, he I think he could be a fire sign. So I feel like that they're a lot, they're, you're, you guys are a lot alike. I feel like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting that there's a, like a lot of you who are introverts that are doing this reading, but there is love going on here. I feel like the female of this group is probably already in love. I don't know how new this relationship is or not. Is that it? Uh oh. He really likes how sexy you are. I really feel like this is a sexy card. And how I'm trying to This feels like almost like you're able to you're you're able to be like Loving and loving and emotional and sexual, but you can also be like more analytical. You know, you're very grounded still. Like, and it's almost like, like you could be even. This could go either way. You could be like a water sign with earth sign tendencies, or you could be picking up earth sign. Try to get one on this one really quick. I got the Seven of Cups, which can mean choices. Hermit. I feel like you. Okay, so you, I think, have more than one person that might be interested in you. I do. And I think that you already pretty much know. You know a lot about this already. You know. I think that you sense a lot of the things. Yeah. I'm feeling that you are sensing a lot of these things. But the other thing is, is that there could be a third party for a couple of you. There could be a third party situation where there's, he has a choice between, the male has a choice between more than one female. And 
you intuitively know what's going to happen. Marriage is involved in the situation. And in the third party situation, and the marriage is more likely to be with the Queen of Cups, which would be the water sign, intuitive, emotional, loving, caring, very like a loving, emotional person. And then the Earth sign who would be the opposing factor. And this is only for some of you. Okay, not all of you. And I feel like see like this is the same with this intuition. This card is the same. Intuition is like the same as the high priestess. This is a very deep reading. If you would like <laughs> if you would like a personalized reading, reading, please let me know. Sorry, I can't not talk. Um, look in the description, and if you want, give me get a personalized reading because this is it gets really deep. Um, that's all I have for pile one right now. If you like this content, please give me a like. I would really appreciate it. If it was, if it. If this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. I would like to I would like to hear more about this because this seems like a very deep situation. Started turning into a crazy reading. There's like too many people. There's like a lot of energy going on with this situation. There's a lot of uh, Whoever is coming to watch this video, if you want a private reading, let me know because you're going to need it if you want to know more about your situation. All right, now moving on to pile two. And pile two is the throat chakra. That's what I got here. Pile two. Let's see what we got. I'll sit these down for a moment. So we got the Seven of Earth. Let you see that for a moment. But you can't see it that good once I put it over there. Oh, okay. wait. Pile two got extra cards. Okay. Apparently. Pile 2 is very, very mouthy. We have the Knight of Earth. There's a lot of Earth energy going on tonight. We have the Four of Earth. And we have the Sun. Which is a very good card. And we have Let Your Friends Help You. And we have Base Chakra. Moving on and fulfillment of wishes. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my goodness. And then for your angel answers, I have take action. <sighs> this is really. I need to get these cards out. Let your friends help you. What do they like about you? They like how how down to earth you are. They like how grounded you are. This is all very grounded energy right here. I think that represents a lot of you. They like, they love about you. Let's see, a temporary. <sighs> they like how you're giving to those less fortunate. They love that. They love how. Feels like, oh my goodness. <sighs> what do they love about you? 
I love that you're, I feel like you're a leader. Yeah, Pisces going on here. Justice. This is turning into you have a full blown meeting going on. It's trying to happen here. There's a lot more going on than how much they love that what they love about you. Why do they love you? I'm getting a sense that they love you as a friend. Oh. There is like okay. This is a reading. This isn't about what they love about you. They do love that you're loyal and dedicated, honorable and kind. You're down to earth. Mm. They finally friendly and they you have nice friends. And that you're later. Very, very careful about what you do, how you before you think about what you're doing before you act. And you want to take on the world. You're biding, you're biding your time in the situation you're in. You're gathering resources. You're learning some self-discipline. You want everything to be perfect. If anything, what I've been hearing lately is that I'm going to move these up here. I'm trying to figure out that there's been an offer of love. I think that they offered their love to you. I'm going to leave this here. They offered love to you. Why did they love you? That's what you want to know. They either think you're moving on or they're moving on. You think they're moving on or they think you're moving on from the situation. I think there's a good chance that you're not communicating right now. And ask me to take action. So, I mean, okay, this goes here. This situation involves this person can make you very happy and can have a very good outcome. But I think you're inquiring about this person because you're not sure about this person. This person is actually a wish come true for you. So, not only did I get the Ten of Cups, I also got the Ten 
of wands as well. <sighs> Which means that to me that you're you're spreading yourself too thin. We also got the Five of Swords, and we have the Five of Cups. <laughs> this is heavy. Someone, it doesn't say who, you either think or feel or someone else, someone you feel is has defeated or caused you an injustice or have negative intentions towards you and you're very disappointed in having and been heartbroken over something like spill, crying over spilt milk you have like two cups three cups knocked over two cups still standing but you can't see the two cups behind you you can you're only focusing on the the disappointment and that has been in front of you. That's what you've been doing. This is, I feel like, is you. And somebody, they think that somebody's moving on, but obviously if you, okay, if you, if it, this is about you, if they think that you've moved on, I think that they think you've moved on and you have it, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And, 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 and if they think you've moved on, you have it, and if, and if you think they've moved on, they haven't. So I feel like this isn't true, that nobody's moved on from this situation. Not really. Because this situation is supposed to have a happy outcome. No one's moved on. Because this hasn't, complete, this isn't finished. It's trying to reach completion, but it's not. This, this, this hasn't happened yet. How did I end up in a reading? <laughs> yeah, you've been heartbroken. You've suffered a loss. I think you've lost this person you're inquiring about. You've lost this person you're inquiring about. No, they haven't moved on. No, you haven't moved on. This isn't how it's supposed to be. But you need this it had to happen so you can gain a oh, strength. I just got that twice, by the way. I want to make sure it came out twice. So this is it's, the whole purpose of this was to 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 bring strength and balance into your life. And because you're also supposed to be with this person, and then there is a queen, another person. And this person, I feel like, for those of you who are masculine, I feel like there is a person who is, you're, you're bound to, you feel an obligation to. Even though you don't have to, you're kind of stuck with them. You're kind of, you got to get out of it. They kind of got you, they got you locked down, they got you chained down, and it's not the person you want to be with. you really are. It's not who you think you should be with. I think that you thought through, I think they took advantage of your suffering. This person took advantage of your suffering. They took advantage of your suffering and, and they've, they've locked you down kind of. They have, they have you bound And I think that you want out of the situation with them because then you know that they're not good. Yeah, you have you intuitively know this is a high priestess. You intuitively know that you 
need to get out of the situation, you know that you're supposed to be with the person that you're inquiring about. <sighs> That's why the take action card is here. I feel like you're both waiting for your ships to come in. You're both waiting for each other. You're, you're waiting to be able to approach them, to take action towards them, and they're waiting for you to take action towards them. You need to reevaluate the situation. And this person right here, this other person that you're stuck with, is like a restriction. Uh, uh, I can't talk. Restriction. And they're paranoid. But for right, uh, they should be paranoid. And you're like giving your power away from them to them. And you should be paranoid about them. That's what I'm feeling. Because they do have bad intentions towards you. This isn't the right relationship for you. That is not the, the one that you're currently kind of communicating in, in, in. But right now you have the magician. You need to remove your mask. Remove the mask. And surrender to the situation you should be into. And then take action. That's what you need to do. You need to move forward to the correct person. You need to just, you know... When someone's not the right person, you just need to be upfront with them and say, Hey, look, you know, I thought that this was going to work or I thought that was great, but you know, I do, you know, be honest, you know, I don't think this is going to work for me. I don't think that you don't even have to make it about them. Even though, even though I have a feeling that if you make it about them, they're going to freak out. They're going to be crazy. So what you need to do is you need to say, Hey, I need time off from this situation. Um, I mean, the person you're moving towards, I have a feeling, is not even going to demand that you be like, Hey, you know, you must profess all love to me and all of your publicly, you have to show that this with me. I think that the person that you, from what I can see before about the person that you're inquiring about, I think that they are very understanding, loving, giving person and, and they will understand the person that you've lost. They'll understand they will help you and you should let your friends help you in this situation. But I mean, you got to, you got to get rid of this other person that you're not vibing with that you thought you I mean you thought this person took advantage of you they were like just kissing your ass basically they were just kissing your ass and telling you everything you wanted to hear and at the time it sounded great and it fed your ego and ego but you need to drop your ego remove the mask I don't mean by ego yeah I can't talk again I don't mean your ego as in the sense of um your e I don't mean your ego like it's like your ego self. Not that you're egotistical. It's like ego self. It's like your pride. It's like you you have to surrender. Surrender to the this other person. To the person that you that you should be with. You know, just tell the crazy person, you know, I'm trying to think of the proper thing to say that would get you out of trouble. To say you're not ready to be with anybody. Because I don't think that they need to know what you, need, what you do. And, there, and I think it's possible to be able to even not make what you do public. So I would just not take, make it public for a while. Like make sure nobody knows about it. I mean, you don't have to kick it a whole secret. I mean, your friends are going to help you. So you can tell your friends, you know, what you're doing. But as for the other person, 
you could ask your friends, you know, not to disclose what's going on with them. Then after a while, they'll get used to you not being there and and everything, and they'll move on. All right, that's all I have for pile two. On to pile three. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked your reading and it resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you would like a personal reading, you could really use a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, please look in the description below and see how you can have that done. All right. Thank you very much and have a good night. On to pile three. Hello, pile three. And here is your cards. This is your reading and you have the heart chakra. Let's see what we have here. Let me sit these cards down. I have my clear friend cards in my hand. <sighs> Try to put these in order. We have the three of earth. I think they light up a little bit, don't you? The knight of air. Eight of air. The two of air. We got extra cards for this reading. We have the six of let's see, we have memories of love. Ooh, mental conflict. Oh, we got an extra one of these. Balance. We got you deserve love and we have perfect timing so divine timing is taking place in this situation everyone is coming here to find out why someone loves them and getting a reading it seems like let's see what do they love about you they love how you're creative and that you that you do you're very good and you're very skilled at your job and your work they love that you're intelligent, decisive, idealistic. Let's see. They have they like that you're normally confident. You're normally self confident. I don't think that's what's happening to you at this very moment. Oh, Lord. Balance. Two of the same card. You are lovable. You are so lovable. Alright. So, now that it wants to give you a reading, let's go ahead and go on to that. This is probably what I get for pulling so many cards. How do some of the other readers get just like a, like they pull out three cards and they're able to like, like, la la la. Here you go. This is what they're doing. On to the next person. <laughs> but not me. I get this type of stuff. All right. The person you're inquiring about, they think of you in loving ways. They have memories of love. They remember how, why they, they remember why they love you. Okay. There's more reasons than just sitting here. They remember why they love you. They haven't forgotten, even though they, I feel like that maybe they have acted as though they, they, they might seem like they don't love you or they think that maybe you're different from what you really, what they, okay. There's like who you really were. I need to shuffle my cards a bit. So excuse the sound. They remember who you were. They still believe that you're that person, even though that they've said, they may have said to you, for some, for some of you, they may have said to you that you're not who they thought they were. And that was really who you were. That was who you really were. The person they thought that you were is really who you were. But... Because of the situation that's happened, you, because of the situation that's happened, they said, you're not who I thought you were. 
That's the con that's the, there's the mental conflict there. Yeah, I feel like you've gotten some mixed messages from this person. You know, <clears throat> it's like <sighs> you both need to find balance. That's what you both needed. You need to balance. They need to balance. <sighs> and I think that you need to weigh your options. You have a choice that you're supposed to be, you're trying to make is between two things. It could be another person and this person, or it could be like your work and this person. Maybe you can't handle all of it at once. You're at a stalemate, but you're pretending like there's not a problem in front of everyone else. But because of whatever happened, it's making you feel like because this person said to you, you know, I don't think that you're the person who I thought you were. You're not the person that I loved before. I don't think you're the person who I thought you were. And, but because of that, some I feel like that maybe it's turning out of balance too. And you're like, what? Maybe I'm not really the person I thought I was either. But you really are. You could be whoever you want to be. If that's the kind of person you want to be, if you want to be the person that they were saying that you were, or they thought that you were, then you can be that person, you know? That is who you are. If that's who you want to be, that's who you are. And if that's who you want to be, and you're not sure if that's who you are, then start acting like the person that you want to be. And that'll make you who, they, who you want to be. And that'll make you the person that they loved. Because you do deserve love through all of it. You deserve love. You deserve love. They deserve love. You both deserve love. You deserve the kind of person that you should be with. You deserve this person. I feel like that maybe you feel like you're not quite good enough. Like they've, they, they've made you feel like you're not good enough. And it's not that they did anything wrong by making you feel like that. I really feel like you did do something. You're, something did happen to make them feel that way towards you. And it wasn't unjustified. <sighs> you suffered a loss with this person. You're suffering because you lost this person. And this person... Hang on. And you really see yourself being able to achieve and, and conquer goals with this person. You know? Like, this is someone you could really, like, live your life with. This is someone that you could really do a lot with. And the person that you're inquiring about is someone who is kind of mysterious to you. But I feel like it. I feel like that you're a lot alike. I feel like you and this person are a lot alike. I think that this one. I think you see each other as a, I think I was like this. I feel like this is a mirror. I think this could be a twin flame situation or a high level soulmate situation. Alright, I got it. Emperor, the Ten of Pentacles, 
Uh, you see this person has abundance in your both like leadership. I feel like you mirror each other almost. Uh, it's really... I feel like this is someone you should pursue or, or they're needing to pursue you or they're them. I feel like you're not in communication with this person. Oh, the swan. Look up the meaning. Of, there's a meaning of the swan coming in. Swan, from what I know, is like an, an enlightened person. Uh, there's a third party. This other person, you have like false shit coming in, maybe. This is some kind of other person. <sighs> okay, the, so that I try to pull a card, I was asking for it to pull a card on who represents the person that you see. The person that you, you're inquiring about is like a really motherly type person or or very abundant person. Anyways, this if this is a third party situation where there's another person in your life and you're trying to choose between these two people because like I have the two of air the choices. If you're trying to choose between two these two pe two people, the person that you're the person you're inquiring about is the right person for you and not the other person. For some of you, I think that is the thing. And then I think there's a very small amount of you where this is work related and there's a person at your work who is causing you problems or whatever, but <sighs> this is a very complicated situation. However, all the things, the, the answer, the real answer is what did they love about you? Why did they love you? They love you for all of the reasons they originally told you they loved you. And all the reasons that are true about you that you have begun to even doubt about yourself. Those reasons are the reasons they love you. That is really still the reasons that they love you. They haven't stopped loving you. So I think that with the right timing, you will. I think that you want. I think that. Either they will move towards you, or you should move towards them. Maybe try to see if you should take action here. Someone needs to break the silence. If it's you... you who needs to you need to yeah you've lost a sense of security you're holding on really tight to to the things that you know like you're not really wanting to change you know you're you're not very you're not taking change very good very good but you need to have strength in the situation So, you need to fight. I feel like you should come forward to them. Or they will come. It depends on... I don't know. It depends on if you're... I feel like if you're the guy, you should be coming towards them. And if you're the woman, you have to wait for them to come towards you, if that makes sense. If you're the female, if you're the divine male, then you have to go towards them. And if you're the divine female, you have to wait for them. And you got to hope that they will come towards you. I mean, you can still communicate. 
you know, how you feel and everything about them. If anything, maybe it might help them if you would tell them what you love about them. But I think that you should come, if you're the divine male, you need to come for and fight for this person and, and to stop the injustice that's happened, which has caused you to feel this loss, the sense of loss. And that's all I have for pile three. If you would like a personal reading, please look at the description below and to find out how you can do that. If you would like to see more of this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much and have a good night.